Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I was asked to do a video on the different types of abrasives. These are the common ones that I use that I keep in my toolbox. You may have something a little bit different, but let's go through them one by one. Now, I wouldn't feel right as an educator if we didn't talk a little bit about safety. So when you're using a disc, make sure that you're matching it up with the size of grinder and the RPM rating at all times. The other thing is make sure that you're wearing proper PPE for the task that you're doing. Now this video is focused more on the different abrasive discs, but it's worthwhile looking at your grinder and mentioning that it should have a guard and it should have a handle on it so you can keep two hands on this thing. Now if your grinding stone doesn't have a nut, it's gonna require the backup ring or the backup nut. Your disc is gonna go on top and then you're gonna put your front nut on and all that's gonna lock everything in place. If your disc has the built-in nut, you're gonna be able to spin that on without any of the other parts. Now there's an array of different style of discs, but for myself, these are the five most common that I use the most. You're gonna to wanna to decide which ones work best for you. Number one, this is the wire wheel. Great for removing rust, mill scale, paint, or slag from your welds. It doesn't grind the base metal, it cleans it. So if you're prepping steel or cleaning up after a weld, this is your go-to. Just remember, the wires can shed off, so don't stand in that line of fire when it's spinning. So this wire wheel is really good for carbon steel, even stainless steel. Maybe not the best choice for aluminum as it might be a little bit too aggressive for it. But as mentioned, the one thing you really want to watch for are these little wires that kind of break off and throw themselves at you. So make sure we've got those safety glasses on and it's a good idea to have that face shield. Because this wire wheel has the nut built in, you don't always need this backup nut to go on that grinder. Always check with the manufacturer to see if you actually need it or not. But for this disc here, you can remove the backing, you can throw your wire wheel on, and you don't need that front nut either. Next up, your flap disc. This can be your best friend for weld blending and surface finishing. It's made of overlapping pieces of sandpaper and usually at about a 40 grit. And it gives you a smoother, more controlled grind than a regular stone. So perfect for shaping metal, knocking down welds, or prepping for paint without gouging your work. Now the sanding disc, or flapper wheel we like to call it, can be a little bit more friendly for that beginner starting out with that angle grinder. It's a little bit softer to use, it doesn't gouge as much, and it's not as noisy, but we need to be learning all of them. Keep in mind, this flapper wheel tends to be more expensive than some of our other discs. Now this next one can be a little bit more aggressive. This one's your quarter inch grinding stone. This workhorse is for heavy material removal. If you gotta take down a big nasty weld or shape thick steel, this is what you're gonna to wanna to use. It's aggressive and fast, but rough. It's usually followed up with a flap disc if you wanna clean it up nice and smooth. As mentioned, your quarter inch disc is gonna be the most aggressive. It's gonna take down the most amount of material. So really good for applications where you have a lot of work to do. A worn down quarter inch disc works really well at getting into the center of a larger groove on pipe or plate. Your next one is similar to that quarter inch stone, but not as aggressive and much thinner. This one's your 1 8 of an inch grinding wheel, often called a pipeline wheel. It's kind of a hybrid. It grinds and cuts if you want it to. It's not as fast as a zip cut for slicing and not as aggressive as that quarter inch stone. Good for tight spots or when you don't want to swap discs constantly. Now, as mentioned, this one is still considered a hard disc, but it's a step down from that quarter inch disc and a little bit smoother. And we can also cut like we just demonstrated. This one is your zip cut or thin cutoff wheel, usually about a 16th or thinner. It's made for clean, fast cuts through thin material. You'll use it for slicing tubing, sheet metal, or small bar stock. It cuts fast and clean but it can be brittle, so don't twist this thing. Make sure you're always cutting at 180 or 90 degrees to the piece. And of course, always wearing that face shield as this tends to kick back on you. If not used properly, this one can be the most unsafe of the bunch. So just be careful, make sure we're wearing our safety gear. We've got a face shield that's really important. And if you're unsure of any of the safety rules, check with the manufacturer. All right, so that was a general overview on grinding and abrasive discs. Now, obviously, depending on the type of material that I'm working with, I will have a dedicated grinding disc or stone for that material. I don't like to interchange them too much. I like to keep that dedicated for that. So I hope you enjoyed this. We'll catch you on the next one and keep those lenses clean.